Now, if you've been hearing all about vibe coding lately, you're going to really like this video because I'm going to actually vibe code a website app using this platform called uh, abacus.ai. There's a link underneath the video if you want to check it out. You might have seen some previous videos about Abacus AI because they offer kind of all of the LLMs in one place. So for example, right here, you can see they've got 19 different LLMs like gpt 4 and DeepSeek, Gemini, Grok, the whole lot. And you get all of this for $10 a month. But now they've gone and added this, which is App LLM, and this allows you to vibe code web apps. And there's more things coming in the future, such as being able to add Stripe and connect databases and more complicated stuff. But this is the beta version. And in this version, I'm going to be able to create a website just by writing out exactly what it is I want. And we get to watch it code the website for us. I'm not a coder, and this platform is definitely made for non-coders, which is what vibe coding is all about. It's basically typing stuff out, what you would like to happen, and the AI produces the website, the app, whatever it is you like to build, the game, and it's just becoming an absolute craze online at the moment because it's opening the doors to millions of people who could never really get involved with creating things like that um, because they didn't know how to code. But with AI now, you don't need to know how to code. So with that then, um, let's get started. And we're going to use uh, App LLM here to go and create a fictitious website for a chili festival. So I've created a really nice prompt with all of the details. And I'll just paste it in here. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what it says. Let me scroll up to the top. There you go. Create a bold and flavorful event website for a fictional chili festival uh, targeted at foodies and spices lovers aged 25 to 40. Uh, the website should have a lively, energetic vibe with warm colours, reds, orange and yellows, because that's the colours of chilies, right? Playful animations uh, like bouncing chilies and a fun, approachable design that feels like a celebration of all things spicy. Now, I couldn't have written it that good, I have to say, so I did cheat and I got ChatGPT to create that prompt for me. There's a little tip for you, by the way, for any kind of vibe coding, is just get ChatGPT to do a better job of describing it, what it is you want and then we've got the event name date and time and everything so it's kind of got the basics to be able to create something from that it's quite a big prompt but I'm pretty confident if we just press this one magic button now we should see it start to develop this website for us so here it goes so on the left hand side you can see its thought process which is uh, really interesting and then on the right hand side here we've got the code that it's going to produce here and then you're going to be able to preview the website so it's spinning up a new application like it says and off it goes so I'll help create a vibrant and spicy festival website. And then it's breaking it down, um, understanding exactly what we've said in our prompt. And it's just bang, it's off. It's creating all of the pages. Um, absolutely amazing. And this is vibe coding. You can literally be sat on your sofa, know nothing about coding, and then just be on your laptop uh, creating something that you just couldn't have made like a year or two ago. And it's, it's fascinating to watch. So let's get it, uh, let's let that do its thing and then we'll just rejoin it in a moment when it's built the site for us. So I think it's nearly done because it's uh, it's just done the footer of the website and now it's uh, using Tailwind um, to create like all the spacing and everything on the site. Tailwind CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets if you're not sure what that is. But you don't really even need to know what this stuff is, do you? At the end of the day, if it produces the site for you and you're happy with it, then that's all you need to know. So it's just doing the final thing and then we should magically see the site appear now. And there it is. That is amazing. Just done. Look at that. We've got a little bouncing chili just there. Boinging up and down. We've got Notting Hill Chili Fest. Make sure the details are right. June the 14th, 2025. That was what we said. There's the countdown timer to that date. So that, I'll bet that's right as well. So that's a proper countdown timer created with JavaScript. Um, what's hot? And then it's given all these different things here. There's the, um, the, the map to the actual location that I specified. And then any picture like this that we're not happy with or we don't want, we can always change. But I mean, overall, I really, really like it. 
and we can add links to this just by talking to it and let's try a few things now so for example this picture just here oh I think it's a gallery yeah there's a oh wow look at this yeah we've got several different pictures there brilliant lots of different food and you can deploy the app onto a subdomain of Abacus AI, but very, very shortly. So we've got ours here on chili2.abacusai.app. And let's just click on that now and it will open up. But I mean, it looks really, really good. I have to say straight off the bat was that was the easiest website creation you could ever wish. And then you can also see what it looks like right here in mobile because it has to be mobile for any of these days. That's how most people who are visiting websites are on mobile. So super important. But again, it's optimized all that for you really good. And this would have taken somebody ages to learn how to do from scratch. And also it would cost you quite a bit of money to have somebody build it for you. And now you've got the capability of doing it yourself, um, you know, just doing it like this. Dead easy, really. Uh, now, that's the main thing. As I say, you've got a subdomain there, but very soon they're going to allow custom domains so you can connect this straight up to your own website domain, like, you know, NottingHillChiliFest.com or something like that. And then if you, you know, want to use it for, for example, a landing page or something, you can download this whole page and just go and upload it to your own server as well. So there's lots of different options. But now let's try and change some stuff around. So I would like to uh, get it to uh, add, let's say, a grab your tickets button underneath this timer here so i'm just gonna have to say it and this is this is where all the fun comes um can you add a grab your tickets button underneath the countdown timer there we go now i'm just using mac dictation by the way in case you're wondering how i was able to uh, to do that and look at it it's just coding like a, a pro here to go and um, add that button in and then as soon as it's finished, we can just check it over, make sure it works OK and happy days. And as promised, there it is right there. Exactly the same nice style as this button up here. In fact, they've gone a step further and they've added a little ticket icon there as well. Or the AI has chosen to do that. So making changes to your site is as easy as telling it what you would like it to do. So now let's do something else and say that we want this form to go to a specific email address once once it's filled in so I can say can you make the get in touch form go to my email address once it is completed so I receive all of the forms and then I'll just put in my email is jason at google.com and off we go. Now we'll just go down and go right okay we know which section he's talking about the contact form component and then off he goes and it will just there you can see it in the code actually mail to it's using the mail to uh, Jason at Google dot com subject equals and then it's adding in whatever they put in the subject of their message. So such a great way to code. I can see how people just sort of spend hours just sitting on their laptops. Like I say, you know, no coding knowledge, but watching the AI do its magic. And it's only going to get better from here. I mean, to me, this is highly usable right now. But in the case of uh, this app LLM, they're going to be adding more features to it. Like I say, you're going to be able to connect to databases, have user authentication, i.e. people will be able to log in to your website. Then you're going to have things like checkouts and linking to Stripe so you can take payments. And it's a real big, big shift in the world of web design and web development now. With these kind of tools, we've all heard about Cursor, Bolt, Lovable, uh, all of these guys, Windsurf. But they're, they're not cheap. Uh, they're not cheap at all. Um, there's a reason why Cursor, for example, has hit $100 million annual recurring revenue because it's charging a lot of money for you to use their their um, their vibe coding software. So with this, um, what I see is something that is just $10 a month, but not only for this, but also the other features they have. They have deep research, for example. They have like a version of OpenAI's operator. They have all of the different languages in one place and greater allowances of use of those languages than if you were paying for them with, say, OpenAI for ChatGPT+. So, like, it's just an absolute no-brainer 
to have this whole system really for ten dollars a month there's a link underneath the video if you want to go and grab it so here is our website let's see uh if it, it did what it's supposed to do yep there's the form and then we saw in the back end of the code that it will now be emailed through to me as well so if you don't like the color uh, of anything as well let's try changing the uh, footer color and see if that works okay can you change the color of the footer to black and all of the text within the footer to white I know I just said that just in case it did anything silly but actually it doesn't need to change the text color because it's already white isn't it so that's fine but there it goes quick code session again now it's worth noting that I mean I do know a little bit about web design uh, not so much coding but I do know a little bit about HTML and I can tell you that the way that this is creating the pages they're built to run very fast they're very very simplified clean HTML code that's being made whereas things like say WordPress for example nowadays and that it's just bloated to death. Everybody um, adds lots of plugins and things to make it do other things that they want it to do. And the code just becomes crazy, huge. And that obviously makes it load slower. So having clean code is very important. And definitely um, this is doing that for us. And there we go. So let's scroll to the bottom and see if it did do what we said. And yes, it did. It's gone black down the bottom and everything looks fantastic. It's changed the colors of, of all the icons, I think, unless they were already white. But I'm really, really happy with that and then as as i say when you're ready you can just click preview if you want to go and look at it or copy that url and um, which is chili2.abacusai.app uh, and you can have a look if you'd like if you want to go and do that let me zoom in on that there you go there's the link if you want to go and have a look at this website that's been built with this app there it is brilliant so that's it for this video um i highly encourage you to have this as part of your ai toolkit as I say, I think value wise for $10 a month, getting all of this and all of the LLMs just for general chat use and numerous other AI features, including image generation and also video generation. You know, uh, if you were to go and buy all those separately, you're going to end up racking up hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month. So it's well worth it for the $10. Anyway, that's it from me. I hope you like this video and the website and I'll see you in the next AI related video in just a moment.